Hello, my name is Blazing Zeddy, and tonight we're gonna do a round of Dark, Normal, and Hero Paths, uh, Glitchless, for Shadow the Hedgehog. And you may see that this is the Speedrunners Cut mod that I recently developed, so a lot of cool things we'll be able to see with that. Uh, regarding the run itself, though, we'll be doing three story mode paths. Each one will start in Westopolis, and then we'll start with doing all the Dark missions, we'll do all the Normal missions, then Hero for the end, and then... Uh, one last path that does all the hero missions. This is kind of like a showcase run where we show off as much of the game as possible. Where it's expert mode is you're stuck with just levels. This one will also show bosses, little clips of cutscenes here and there when I'm not skipping them. And uh, yeah, should be a good old fun time. Let's get this run going. We're gonna start in three, two, one, go. All right. So first thing to note here, I am currently playing on my Nintendo Wii, but I am using Homebrew to be able to play the patch, the ISO ROM that I was, I dumped it, I applied the patch. You can see me doing this in real time in the promotion video I made for ASX mod. Uh, but yeah, so we're on a, a, as close to real hardware as possible, minus being on a GameCube. And this actually will be an advantage for us because with Nintendo, you're actually running at a little bit of higher clock speeds compared to a GameCube, because it's technically a Wii mode right now. So you'll notice the game is a lot smoother than it would be normally. Yeah, I was just playing the console version of this exact run the other night, and it is so much better. Uh, yeah, so right now, <laughs> I'm playing the game. Uh, I'm getting Chaos Control by killing the rest of these aliens. With Chaos Control, I'm able to just skip through the stage, like so. And then, yeah, just keep going. So long as I have the Chaos Control power going, I will have the ability of infinite ammo and invincibility. Yeah, we look good on the kills. 25 is good. Chaos Control here is good. So much going on. But it's fine. But you can see my dark meter is very high up, and that's because I want it right now. And I had to kill all the enemies anyways. And now I just have to worry about getting all these guys. Nice. All right, three more enemies left. Uh, there's... Yeah, I, there was one enemy I skipped during the Chaos Control section, so I need this Golden Beetle here. To make up for it. And then the last two guys are right here. Yep, just like that. Anybody who gets okay. in my way is my enemy. Now for my splits here, we have all the in-game time because uh, I've been doing runs on the Dolphin emulator. The in-game time shouldn't really matter compared to that in this. Uh, real time can, because I'm not on like a super computer. I'm on a Nintendo Wii. <laughs> so all the real time slots are emptied out, but the in-game time should be equivalent. And we'll be keeping track of that to see how well my run's going. Uh... Yeah, and I have to type these in all manually, so when the split happens, you gotta give me a few seconds to actually type in the time. But that's the first dark mission down, and now we're moving on to Digital Circuit. Alright, so we're on these internet lanes. These are uh, a mechanic of the stage. Don't really have to worry about anything in the beginning here. Nothing really to make sure I grab, just need to get to the end. There's only so many ways to go about this that just pretty much let it happen. It's good enough. I'm gonna make sure I get some few kills here, get this weapon. I'll need it for later. And okay, these blocks are in a weird position. I'm gonna play it safe here and wait. I've had a few bad <laughs> jumps. So we'll have to practice that quite a bit coming soon. Oh, 
a little bit rouge. Something you might have noticed if you recently watched one of my regular console runs is none of the characters are uh, introducing themselves with a full game-like game pause state. That got patched out in SX, so you just have to focus on running the game like if you were doing individual level attempts, so awesome change. Uh, you may have noticed there, just like, for regular shadow purposes, I took some damage like that, and I only lost 10 rings. Very nice for, like, this stage and for, uh, the, not, Mad Matrix, <laughs> uh, that we won't unfortunately not see, but we also take advantage of the damage boosting in that. We may see it a bit later. Uh, this is the first shadow weapon of the game. This is the egg vacuum. This allows me to vacuum up enemies real quick. We're on the English version though, so I'm gonna grab this worm here. On the Japanese version, the run I would usually... Or the version I would usually play on for a run like this. I would grab the worm that is coming up here, but... It'll be too slow to do that. Okay, gotta try that jumping. Yeah, oh, no, I don't like that position. Try this. Okay, we'll, we'll take it. You can get some pretty good height. Skip a couple cycles. Alright, another change in SX here is the instant door open. This is uh, a feature we added because in individual level attempts, you would, uh, can, you can do this maneuver where you can open up the door, do a death, start at the very beginning of the stage with a zero timer, and then run through the stage perfectly with the door already open. So, some ILs were just, like, really hard to beat because of that, so... Even the playing field, but everyone gets the door open all the time. Now, you have to have all five keys, but, uh, yeah, you have all five keys, it just opens. Very nice. Okay. Looking way through here. We want 2,000 points. What should we do? Good. Now, when I say 2,000 points, like, this is saying, like, oh, the enemies I have picked up so far equal 2,000, like, hero points. That's not to say 2,000 hero points always means a little over half of a chaos control meter. The amount of points you get per versus the meter you get can change depending on your actions and what you get. But knowing that consistently 2,000 is where I want to be, like that's just good stuff to keep in mind. All right, this is the heal cannon. Get some hero points. Get the chaos control. Grab this gun here real quick because the objective here is to take out this core program. And just like that, the core program is defeated. I think I saw that time, but let's double check that here. Humans is no concern of mine. Nice. Ooh, it's a little good time. All right, coming up next is Cryptic Castle. This is a fun one. Hopefully it goes better than the other one I did. That one I couldn't get the optimal route, so hopefully this time we can. Alrighty. Now we're in here and we're... Making our way through. So the first thing we're gonna do is jump off here. This lets us skip that uh, war plate. I don't know the other name for it if there is one, but just faster. Uh, we use this torch to flame on top to light up the lanterns, and the lanterns are what will be lighting up to complete our mission objective. Okay, one more of these. Very good. Okay, yeah, I think we missed this up. Let's try that again. Up. Do that timing better. And that's not great. Okay, so... Okay, not too bad. 
Uh, this is actually actually talk about one of the advantages of SX. Uh, the timer, you may have noticed, uh, didn't restart to an older time, it just kept going. So, one of the big pain points of speedrunning Shadow the Hedgehog is if you die, for whatever reason, or you restart, the timer doesn't uh, properly keep count of how much time you played. Not here. Okay, another example of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, now I'm not having to worry about it, and it makes it a lot easier to know like how good your run really is compared to others it's good for us moderators to keep track of or like just being able to look at the number and being able to trust that it's a good number all right third time's the charm to get past here good all right second torch down good okay i'm gonna make my way down here get a few black wing kills we grab that heal can again, heal these egg pawns, and use our new friend the Omochow gun to shoot this Black Hawk. And now we get to continue on. So Omochow gun is pretty much like a pistol, but the bullets will ricochet off of each other and hit other enemies. We're not really going to see that this section here. We'll get a good view of that in the next section. But it's, it's a pretty... Pretty top tier weapon for the game. You'll be seeing it a lot in our runs. Good. Okay, there's an enemy off screen here. I'm gonna shoot. Okay, you can see all the bouncing around us doing. Uh, we're like just right, but that's fine. We can make way through. All's good. Quick pick up, nice. Door's already open, but by using chaos control here, door open or door close, we're able to get past it. Nice and fast. Make my way through here. I'm actually going to take a hit here. The electric shield is nice if you want to have rings. We have plenty. And also, it's like terrible if you want to do light dashes and the dedicated light dash spots. Because it'll pick up the rings <laughs> before uh, you get a chance to actually do your light dash. So it takes about as much time to take damage there than it does for me to line myself up to actually get the hit or get the, uh, the light dash off with the electric shield. All right, one last flying section here. And then we'll be at the end of the dark mission. That was close. You gotta pay a little bit of attention when you're doing these. I'm gonna line myself here with the torch. I'll allow the Blackhawk to take the torch out. And allow me to use the torch to finish the stage. Okay, four minute is not great. But I'm one step closer we are to continuing. The truth from the doctor. I will not let him interfere you never know what's gonna happen in a, uh, in a setting where you just cannot reset, so... Got to learn to know your backups and still keep calm after everything's going going off the rocks. Another chaos. All right. Hello, Eggbreaker. This is going to be a pretty quick fight. We got two weapon boxes here. Each one contains a pistol, which I'll be able to use to quickly shoot down Eggbreaker. There's also an egg pawn here. That's the last of the ammos I need. Just dodge the attacks, you seen the and last we're off. Of me. That might have been slightly early of a split RTA, but... We're only comparing in-game time, so we'll be fine. Sorry, Doctor, but that Chaos Emerald is mine. Alrighty. Making our way over to Central City. This was one of the stages that was on the harder side of things, at least when I was still uh, 
trying to get good at the game but now it's now it's pretty straightforward so we're gonna do a spin dash high jump off of those sandbags or ammunitions apparently they're like bags of ammo for the black arms we've learned recently that's in yeah <laughs> whatever that's supposed to mean uh we can do a spin dash high jump here as well i guess that's more of a spin dash jump Spin dash high jumps and spin dash jumps are pretty much the same technique, except it's just how you apply the amount of speed you do after you do the jump. Whether it's very forward or very up. Okay. We've got this bazooka here. Oh, let me take out these next few guys pretty quick. Did I get that one? I did not. But here we go. Grab the assault rifle because I'm going to be using this one later. Or bomb down and if I was doing the extra mode I would be grabbing the shadow rifle here but we are not I would like to get past you thank you uh, so normally we would grab the shadow rifle because of the enemies we would have to kill to continue the mission but nothing here requires that much firepower oh geez okay mm, this is gonna be a close one Yeah, this is too close for comfort. We're gonna take a car. Why not? <laughs> I've never taken this car in my life. All right, there's the last objective. And we're done. Nice save. <laughs> Legitimately, I, I've never seen that car in my life. <laughs> At last, revenge. But clearly it was there for the purpose of me completing this mission. So, now that I know that, we're never going to go the back way ever again. The back way is like the way you would go for expert mode, but it's also like a bit slow because you have to do a bunch of jumps and dodge a whole bunch of stuff. And you usually don't have your Dark Shadow ability to not take damage along the way. Alright, welcome to the Ark. Our mission objective here is to take out the four defense matrices. And, uh, it's otherwise an auto scroller. So, woo. A couple things to note here. If you're doing, like, a... 100% run when you're trying to grab things along the way the, because of how auto scroller it is the uh, the time requirement is a little bit tighter so you want more dark points by shooting random things to uh, make up for the lost time but uh, otherwise for the most part you're just kind of moving along there is a scene couple of sections you can jump you can off and jump off do some platforming nothing really to do there whenever I see these dash rings I need to make sure I get all three in particular the last one that last one is the one that gives you the major boost out there's a key right below me there if I uh, had a file that didn't have all the keys that's where it would be There's another key down there. I don't know how I was to find that out by themselves, but... Oh well. That's one of those- that's one of those keys where one guy is crazy enough to figure it out, shares it on the internet, and that's how everyone else gets it. <laughs> Alright. We're almost done with the stage. Which... Seems weird because we only grabbed uh, two of the defense matrices, but uh, there's the last, or no, there's the third one. We're gonna use the Blackhawks and missiles here to shoot around the shield that I am currently stuck in front of. And yeah, now that's just the final stretch. This whole time here, I've been using the Shadow Rifle. Uh, this is the weapon you unlock at the end of the last way when you complete all the main endings. It's uh, it deals a lot of damage as we can see. 
his defense. How many points or how many shots it took to use a shadow rifle versus a the bunch of missiles? Cannon is nearby. Say your prayers, you disgusting humans. There we go. And that was a gold too. I didn't think it about that fast, but this is one of those where like you always get like 24 and it's just like an up to random chance if your particular movement gives you the plus or minus you need. All right, this guy was a real pain the other night. Let's see if we can not do that this time. So grab the weapon, do a spin dash high jump to get up, deal some more damage, get another weapon on the ground. Okay, grab that. Get up before he starts his animation. Uh, did those missiles just not hit? I guess it's better than flying off the edge of the stage like eight times. We do want him to face us with the, the main uh, pilot seat because otherwise I can't deal consistent damage. So. That was like done in like at least a quarter of the time compared to the other night. Oh geez. The planet piercing. And that could definitely be brought down a bit faster, no but considering you now. like a couple years ago, I'd be happy to get a sub one. This fight has improved quite a bit. We are the Alrighty. Moving on now to Gun Fortress. This is the uh, pure dark ending for our speedruns. All we have to do here is take out the uh, gun computers. I forget what the in-game reason for that is. I try not to pay too much attention to it. Try to make too much of this game's story and you'll go insane. Get but the beginning here Come is pretty straightforward. Sure you just kind of book it. Stay to the side All where there's the no enemies. The the Swoop back in whenever this is our, this is you go through the doorway. Back to the side. Take this. Up. Cut that corner a little too sharp. But now we're fine. You want to maintain as much speed as possible here. Get past these doors that are closing down on you. Okay, we're going to be on one of those spin dash high jumps off of this gate, which worked out just well enough. Good for us. Alright, now we're going to grab that shadow rifle again. So, shadow rifle is pretty much programmed to beat any enemy that's on the ground within a single shot. And then because of that, everything else that is not a like, ground enemy and takes multiple shots dies within like a handful of shots instead of like a whole clip. All right, if I do this jump correctly, which I did until I ran into that guy, uh, <laughs> I was able to dodge the flying in the air where the fans because the hitbox doesn't go up that high. Okay, no spin dash high jump here. I didn't quite make it all the way up, but this is a pretty consistent backup strat. So, no issues here. This is our last. Get him! Alright, I don't need to get dark power right here, but I do like to have it for this section coming up here. Not this section, but the section here. There's these lasers. And I, I tend to be <laughs> jumping such that I always go across them, so it's, it's just peace of mind to not have to worry about it. I don't really need a dark shadow for anything else. Besides like just plowing through all those enemies. It's gonna be gone by the time we get through the rest of this section here. That's fine, there's only a little bit of level left after this. Button to accelerate. Press the button to fire weapon. 
Alright, here's a section here. This, this might not be the fastest way of doing it, but I have a particular set of enemies I go after and a controller angle I hold. Just makes it consistent and it's pretty consistently fast. 3654. Okay. Nice. At last, the human resistance has been crushed. Alright. To end off each path, there is a boss fight, so our boss fight here will be Sonic and Diablon. This fight, uh, despite how awful my run was the other day, it actually had a decent fight of under a minute, so hopefully we can do that here too. The main thing here is that we have little ammo to really deal damage, so you can't just shoot him with guns alone. I would like the gun, please. Thank you very much. Grab the Sonic gun, jump in the air, because I heard Sonic homing attacking me from like a million miles away. Sonic, let me get up. And now that I'm up here, I want to deal as much homing attack damage as possible. And after I do enough of it, I'm able to get him down. <sighs> but if my angle is off a bit, it becomes very tricky. And the camera is like trying to keep all four of the... Uh, of our, uh, like, Dune, Sonic, and Diawan all in the same screen, so that becomes annoying. But yeah, I got my ammo, I got him on the ground, now I just need to wait to do enough homing attack to get enough dark power. Then I can use my gun to finish up the dark power. Need rings. This is not a good fight. Okay, that's definitely enough. But now I can use Dark Shadow and just infinite ammo. Shoot the dude. Thank you for not using your uh, giant nuke attack, the Avalon. That helps a lot. But yeah, no one likes this fight. But it has to be done. Okay, upcoming change, or not upcoming, upcoming visual of a change I made. Uh, I was able to make it so that all the in-game times that we had throughout the story mode would add up behind the scenes. So we should see a time close to 1846, 19. Hmm. That's pretty off. Did I not type a time in right? No, they all look fine. What was going on there? Hmm. Promise time. Time to go and fulfill this promise. I'm looking at all my times. I'm not seeing like where the air would have been. We're gonna have to review the footage. <laughs> but uh, normally. What happens there is the time will be ever so slightly ahead of what I would be typing in manually here. And the reason for that is the time behind the scenes, it's a very precise floating point number. And I'm just adding that together all the time. But when it goes to display on screen, it has to choose a number to round down to, and it always rounds down. So. For as many splits as there are, there will be that many opportunities for the number to be one hundredth of a millisecond lower. So, I assure you the time at the end <laughs> of that screen is accurate. It is interesting though that it was that far off. That is not normal. I must have typed in the time wrong. And I'm sure in the video comments we'll we'll see it. Okay. There's Wasopolis normal. That's a pretty straightforward. We've seen that all the time. Though when it comes to this game and this uh, category, I've been having a very hard time getting a consistently good time. When you have to do three different versions of Westopolis, you kind of get them jungled up a bit.
Okay. But yeah, now we're on the normal path, so all the normal missions for this path. And up here next is the Glyphic Canyon. Alrighty. Making our way through, skipping loops because the loops are slow, skipping ramps because the ramps are slow. Hey, you see a vacuum here, the vacuum of all the enemies. Unlike my Japanese playthrough that I did recently, we do have to kind of switch things up a bit in order to have enough points at the end. The worm I would normally grab in the upcoming temple is not able to be back in there fast enough. So, that's what I did there. Normally I skipped all those enemies if I'm paying attention. And I grabbed just enough to make up for how many points that worm would give me. Okay. Making our way through, everything's still good. We just, oh, please let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Stop, let me out. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's a fun one. That doesn't happen all the time. Most of the time, you're, you're allowed to out. It's like a timeout or something, but I've, I've had a few times where like, it just straight up will be that forever because it's, it thinks it's, it's gonna grab something, when in reality, it definitely can't. <laughs> All right, we'll move there. The ultimate power. And now we just have to skip this auto, or I, it's not really an auto scroller, it's just, you only have, you can only go one way and it's really slow. <laughs> so we go with the fast auto scroller versus the slow auto scroller. I'm gonna hit the, Trigger here for this tornado transition from the backside of the, the the road there. Almost back. Sub two, sub two, yes, sub two. I will take sub two. I take orders from no one. I do as I decide. It's... Moving on to Prison Island. Now this is where things kind of get uh, a little different compared to how I would normally play a normal or neutral ending. When we're doing glitchless, we would normally uh, use the dark mission here to skip sky troops so that like overall the times are slower or times are faster than just having to deal with sky troops. But we have dedicated ourselves to only doing normal missions. So only normal missions we will do. Alrighty. So, surprise, surprise. The objective here is get a lot of hero points and use chaos control to go fast. That's what a lot of the <laughs> missions in this game are. And that's okay. Because at least while acquiring the chaos control power you're doing a lot of things getting a lot of enemies there because they happen to be a bit slow but we got the egg vacuum now and we can vacuum everything up try to keep our movement fast uh, move it along oh yeah and then that we got past the trigger that would normally have dropped me after losing chaos control, so we don't have to worry about that. And now we can get this dark orb for instant dark power. It gets us to the end. And one thing you might have noticed there, if you've seen a lot of my older runs, is I didn't have to worry about pausing. With the Wii's uh, Wii mode, the processor is uh, moving a bit faster, so it's able to load in everything. A bit better. I don't have all the secret discs yet. So, well, one less thing to worry about. I found it, the fourth emerald. Seven.
Hello, Sky Troops. Just bad mouthing you, but don't take it personally. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna throw something at me now, I know it. This blue sky staring at it from afar. Alright. Have I seen it before? Making our way through Asopolis, you may have noticed these buildings look familiar. They were just in Griffith Canyon. These are ships that the aliens brought here a million years ago or something like that. So they're here now, they're flying. So one of the objectives is to destroy all the gems that keep them flying, but we don't need to do that. We're just going to run through it all. I, did, I tried doing my homing attack to grab the, the lever pulley thing, and I ended up grabbing it before my A input went in, and I jumped off of it. <laughs> Great. Speaking of jumping, this jumping mech thing is good for jumping, not good for anything else. So, you should get off of it immediately when you don't need to be jumping. Uh, I'm gonna attack you guys. Now, the way I do my route here is I don't get extra kills or don't get extra points by taking out the gems along the way. But there's enough points around despite that, so uh, I just ignore them. But that also means I have a lot more ammo available than I would normally. So we will not be getting a refill on the shadow rifle. We will uh, just use this one shadow rifle. Got a good momentum jump there. Alright, making our way down. Two black oaks. They're dead now. Two more enemies coming up here. Some black hawks. More black oaks. These guys have shields. You can not even the shadow rifle can get past them, so you need to help me attack them to death. And here's an example of Shadow's homing attack, wanting to trigger on whatever the heck it wants. So Definitely something to be more mindful of. Get the feel for when Shadow feels like going somewhere. There's a logic to it. The, the game's a program, but uh, it's something that can be learned. Alright, making our way to the end. Get out of my way. Alright, You're not getting away from me this time, Doctor. Alright, coming up next here is Iron Jungle. This one also gave me a hard time the other day. We were talking... I was explaining why it could be a hard time, and then the hard thing happened. Um, <laughs> this shouldn't be the problem here, though. We'll take precautions, just in case but shouldn't be a problem. So, actually, no, I never got a chance to show up the other route that I was trying to do the entire time. I just kept not doing, so let's do that instead. You would normally skip that enemy up top, but you need the extra hero points if you're going to do this other route, the route that is normally reserved for Dark Mission. I am stronger than Eggman. We go way through. We want to grab the Omo Chow gun here. Grab the Omo Chow gun. Grab the Omo Chow gun. You, you almost grabbed it. Grab the Omo Chow gun, though. Thank you. Cool. We can do a spin dash here. Get past those dash pads. It would have just thrown us to the bottom. We don't have to worry about any of those enemies. Use one shot to get both of them. Two to get rid of him. And then one shot for each of these pairs. And then now I'm down here. I am able to. Get a couple of homing attacks. Jeez. Oh, okay, here we go. Chaos control. And then we can skip all this here. Another route is to use chaos control earlier and then just run through here at a fast speed. They're pretty close in timing. I haven't seen them side by side in a while though, so. 
you're just starting out, you gotta find one that you like to do either. Attack! Attack! Now Look at that, a 12 second save. That's nice. Alright, coming up next here is the easiest boss fight or mini boss fight in the game. Pretty much just point and shoot. This is what you get for turning against your master. Go back, get in the turret. Mash, 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 mash. Another reason <laughs> we're a little bit careful about console versus Nintendo versus emulator. When you have the extra processing power compared to what a GameCube's stock speed is. Wow, I got a seven? Ugh. Alrighty then. An android. Um, Me? I don't believe. You. Yeah, like you can. If you're in a higher frame rate area, you can mash a bit faster. So, when you're playing on a regular console, it's uh, ever so slightly laggy there. Playing on the ten down here, it's hardly laggy. On Dolphin, it's also hardly laggy. So, one of the annoying things that makes it a little bit unfair. To compare all of them together as one. All right, lava shelter. I'll make you wish you never heard me. Unlike the other Using ways we can play lava shelter, I am just gonna kind of sprint through this. Shadow. Not gonna grab any weapons. Not gonna go for chaos control. If I do it correctly, we will get to the end of the stage in under two minutes. Do some trying to jump in here, then do one more just for safe measure. And away we go. Don't have to worry about the lava, there's no egg ponds that would normally bring up the lava for you. Like there is an expert mode. So just have to focus on dodging everything and trying not to stub my toe into many things. Which I guess it's the same thing, but like a little different. <laughs> Some things will move, other things will not. Don't stub your toe on the things that don't move, dodge the things that do. I think that makes sense. Alrighty. One more of these. Alright, this little uh, generator here, if you jump at the right time, you just jump over it. And then you dodge a whole bunch of enemies. Found if I tie my uh, X inputs here, the ones I am doing when I'm boosting up my speed, you can uh, get a more smoother uh, lift off there. I'm gonna grab a couple of guns, jump over here, and then from here, I'm gonna spin dash down, skipping the whole spiral right onto the rail. Ah, uh, it's not sub two. Bummer. It's close enough though. Doctor, I think we got at a. Last, I'll hear the truth from is that 96? It was. Cool. All right, come to Pierre is Egg Dealer. If you've seen, well, the most popular Shadow speedrun category, you've seen this fight. But to explain how this fight goes, Eggman decided that his most nice precious you, and Shadow ultimate Earth. creation I is a slot machine a robot. And invention. the results of your slot machine the changes how the fight goes. It's either an attack, so I can use missiles that he's going to use to attack me. If it's a mismatch, they'll drop boxes for weapons and rings. And if it's shadow, as we saw there, it's gonna give me shadow fever. But the dark power. Oh, that is so early. Why is that so early? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hang out with him for a bit. I want to manipulate his position such that he. Uh, Stays moving in a way that I can easily attack him, so that worked out perfectly there. 
I also made sure to grab the particular box I was aiming for, which had this egg pistol. And so long as I don't lose this egg pistol, I can use as much ammo as I like. So one ammo left, that's fine with me. Shadow, Shadow, thank you. Cool. Can you be on a straightaway? Thank you. So now I have Shadow Fever, infinite ammo. I should be able to just do a quick jump here. And mash, 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 mash. It's gonna get too far away from me. I am not like Silver Sonic who can mash like no other. There we go. I've seen him do it in person, it's insane. Alright, <laughs> 56, 73. Cool. Alright, what we had. Sorry, Doctor, but this is the end for you. We thought we had an 1845 before. It actually said 19, so if our timing is correct in this portion, then we should see uh, 12, 18, yeah. Okay, now I'm confused again. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not going to worry about it. We can retime. This is like what I'm typing in right now in my splits. That's not like the definitive, like no, no takes backs timing. We can, we can retime it. <laughs> Only thing that matters for timing a video is the footage itself. And the, and the audio, I guess. And like, you shouldn't really have to have everything else to be considered a legitimate speedrun. Okay, hero mission now. Shoot all the aliens. I got a little bit messed up there. Normally I shoot the guy in the middle just to get him out of the way and I decided to dodge him that time. Now I have an extra bullet. I'll shoot the box. There we go. Missed that one. There we go. You, you. Okay, she got 21 points now. Nice. Looking good. We're not going to make the same mistake we made the other night. We are going to hit this checkpoint. We'll be backtracking here later. <laughs> Missing that checkpoint is very detrimental to the speedrun. Thankfully, we got it. Yeah, I'm going to grab these flames here for a little bit of extra hero points. Hopefully enough to get me this egg vacuum, a couple more. I definitely did not get that alien. Did I? I might have gotten it on the backswing and not really saw it. Oh well. I would have only been able to skip this section I am currently slowly going through, but... There we go. This is one of those examples of knowing what your point should be. Please don't do that. Why would you do that? Uh, yeah, knowing what your point should be, what your kill count should be. So, you don't be, so you're not making those seven mistakes. Okay, there's one here. Yeah, no, we are missing the one. Okay, no, we, we probably did miss it. And then I, I just couldn't see it again. Because it was probably flying behind me or something. Well, it's a good thing our backtracking is going to put us on track anyways. So, three enemies here. Back to the second checkpoint. Alright, this guy, there's two more here. This is... Oh no, I know what happened. Okay, I was supposed to do a maneuver here that allowed this guy to die. Okay, 237. Power. I think it said Disgusting 67, but we'll double check. Get out of my sight. That makes sense. Why my numbers weren't lining up and I was getting confused. Yes, there we go. All right, minimal time loss. Fantastic. Uh, but yeah, no, so when you're using Chaos Control, you're flying through the stage. You have this area of effect that deals damage. It's like one point of damage. So most things just take a hit. Ah, I got hit. And then that's it. The weaker enemies just explode. So to get that guy, you actually can fly into the area, deal the damage, cancel the chaos control so that you can uh, move around the game. But you just start it up immediately again. And then when you do that, you get an extra hit. I missed doing that. So that's why 
he was still alive. And my point is still alive. Okay. Lethal Highway. This tank is our enemy. It must die. Uh, we've had a few different ways of accomplishing this goal. They're all pretty unique and interesting, but the way we will be doing it today is not by getting run over. We'll be getting the invincibility power up there. It's a very consistent cycle to get that. And we're going to do as much damage as we can right there, grab these weapons, and just lay into it as much as possible. Okay, we're in green. Green is good. We have plenty of ammo. Uh, meet it across the street. Put the rest of the shots in. And like that, yes, we're good. We did it! 47, okay. I've had better. But this is... I won't allow fine. them to do what they want to anymore. Let me double check the middle seconds were correct. They are. Cool. Yeah, so like in the past, we would grab the gun. Uh, I think sometimes we would get the invincibility, and then we would just shoot, jump off a ledge, start off at the beginning again. The tank would also be there with less health, and then you just keep doing that over and over and over and over again, and then you die. You would have a 20 second time. <laughs> so, can't really do that in SX anymore because uh, the way I changed the timer, but. That's fine. Speaking of ways that change the timer, this boss is one of the few bosses in the game where you actually use chaos control. I guess most optimally you don't want to use chaos control, but I'm going to use chaos control so it can stay in place. The timer is not slowing down anymore. Uh, I found at least in one case where the timer would, like depending on when I use chaos control, a time that started off slower could end up with a faster time. Versus a time way, that alien was faster initially and just didn't do as well afterwards. Well, it, it was weird. It was it was one of those cases. Well, that time got a slower time, but it was clearly better type of times. So one less thing to worry about. The timer becomes more of a time without loads timer with that change as well. So cool. All right, moving on to Central Park. I made a sin the other day where I uh, I didn't show this cutscene, so I will show it because it's a fun cutscene. Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? He said the line. All right. The Chaos Emerald. Moving the on. Has gotta be around here. The mission here is get 400 rings. So the one thing we'll do here real quick that's really important is that we're going to stay under 99 or under 100 at most 99 and by doing that these ring or these uh checkpoint bonuses i'm already at 91 jeez uh they will yeah this, this is fine yeah it's perfect 99 <laughs> the uh, depending on like what range of rings you have you get different rewards so in the case of the uh under 100 you get 20 rings but if you get over 100 or 100 exactly you get an extra life so in this case it is best if we get the 99 to get to 119 at that point all right moving on just using this egg vacuum here to vacuum all the rings that are a little bit out of range another fun fact is these uh the tester strength bell things i'm hitting to get 50 rings uh it is a little bit faster to uh what do you call a little bit faster to get those like consistently over and over and over again okay <laughs> my brain went a little slow there i am missing so many no i'm not i'm used to getting chaos control here sometimes i don't need to get chaos control here I ran, like, I'm not used to going in that upper section, so I was focusing a little bit harder than normal. But, sub 2, fantastic. Looking good. 
Sorry, Doctor. I got no time for games. What is that for those milliseconds? 48. Alrighty. Ooh, that's a gold split. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I've had I've had a bad streak of not sub twos. And these are newer splits. For a submission. Alright. Death ruins. Now this is an interesting one. I'm curious, because on Dolphin, I, there's a part I can get to extremely consistently that I just cannot do on console. I'm curious if I can do that with Nintendo at the Wii overclock speeds. When I say Wii overclock, it's instead of being clocked down to GameCube, it's clocked at its normal rate of Wii. I can use the egg vacuum here, get everything I need to grab, and it's in my way, can be vacuumed up. Easy peasy. Okay, would've been nice to get here around 30 seconds, not after 30 seconds. Alright. It's fine. Just need to get to the end. I can go and grab these guys down here. Get a spin dash to get back on track. I'm gonna try to minimize the amount of ammo I use up here. My chaos blast or chaos control range, as I explained in the Westopolis, took out a bunch of enemies over there. Okay, we're looking good here with that spin dash jump. We want to get a few more kills here, this guy here, and now chaos control up this hill. Do I get past the fence? I got past the fence. Okay. There's the worm. I'm gonna double check my worm count or my kill count. 40 here, good. There's five larvae here, just like that, good. Fire shield is nice to just make our way down here with no problems. Using the bombs on the side, get them in the blast radius. They're dead. Very nice death ruins. I won't let you get away with trying to invade this planet. Yeah, another gold? Not surprised, honestly. I don't get 145s, let alone 44s often. Hello, Black Hole. Grab this. And like this, this, this is the fight. There's not really a whole lot going on. Grab the safety, safety ring though. And it's over. 14. Okay, I think I've gotten 1488s a few times. That number looks There's familiar. There's no way you can stop me. All right, three more stages. The one that's currently highlighted, Lost Impact, is... It is a level. Yes. It is, and the mission we're doing, it is a mission. It is the one that everyone gave up on. <laughs> they initially tried doing all heroes. Because navigating the uh, the arc is not, not easy. But once you know where everything is, it's not too bad. So we'll be... We'll be speeding through pretty quick. Shadow, this way. The experimental First artificial chaos. Good. We got a dupe there. Uh, how do I know that was a dupe? That guy was supposed to give me 200 points and he gave me 400 points. That's twice as many points. It's just a bug with how these artificial chaos work. And it actually is required for the route that I'm about to do to work. It's pretty common though, so we shouldn't have to worry too much. So if we get too many dupes, I have to diverge from the fastest possible route. But at least it 
As long as it finishes, that's what matters now. So, then use this turret platform that they decide to build into the arc in several places to take out these artificial chaos. It's, it's, it's almost as if they had planned on this exact scenario happening. Kind of weird, but all right. Okay. I'm gonna swap over from the Yoma shotgun to the grenade launcher here. The grenade launcher makes a big boom. And the big boom is it sticks around for a bit and takes out a little mini balls that come out of the artificial chaos. So, a nice way to deal a lot of damage really quick. Okay. And yeah, this is another one of those stages that's a little bit laggier on a regular console. So having the increased clock speed here helps improve the uh, how fast you can get through these sections, at least in the real time sense. Got that. Two more guys up here. He's got the way. Thank you. Oh, that one like wouldn't have to be. Good. Okay. We're out of here. I could have done another one of those jumps that we saw in the first room to get up a good chunk of the way there, but those elevators work pretty fast in that room compared to all the other elevators and all of the other places. And uh, it's way more consistent. Cons uh, trying to do the other way can lead to problems. Okay, I think we were gonna have to do the second fastest route. Depending on how... Um... I, th I think I can risk it. Okay. They didn't get any points for that. Technically the bomb I exploded got them, not me. So... I get the, the kill count, but I don't get the point count. Okay, you. Don't put me over. Oh, yeah! <laughs> The risk paid off. I don't want the back travel here. Let's go. Two guys there, two more over here, and then we're going to use chaos control. I technically have enough power to chaos control now, but when you're in a vehicle of any kind, you don't get to use your power until you leave the vehicle. Like so. Behold the ultimate power. Yep, now I don't have to do all this manually, I just be zooming. Well, I guess it would have been zooming regardless, but uh, zoom with no worries. How about that? Oh, nice. That guy's not usually that killable. Go, 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 go. These ones are pretty quick to kill, but you do want to slow down a bit just in case they don't want to die right away, like that one. Good. Next one's up in the corner here, so I'll position myself ahead of time for that purpose. Two more at the very end. Big guy here. This one can be noticeably laggy. Wow, it was so unlucky. It wasn't able to aim as precisely. <laughs> All right, last one. We almost missed this one on my last run, so let's slow down. Okay. 420, I think it was 42393. As I promised you, Maria, yeah, visual I will confirm that the one. Professor and the Ark. Yep. Cool. Maria. Two more stages, or two, one more stage, the final stage, final haunt, and then a very fast boss, depending on how the RNG goes. So let's see, let's see what happens. Final haunt's pretty simple though. I can feel them. They're everywhere. Alright, first thing we're gonna do is grab the shadow box, grab the shadow rifle. We got an extra kill there that we don't need, but it's fine. 
I'm gonna shoot the same enemies I do anyways. And everything else I am doing, it doesn't matter that I accidentally got the first guy. Sometimes that first guy matters, but we're not doing a route where it matters. Okay. One more guy to get, he's gonna put us over the edge. He's hiding down here. And away we go up Chaos Control. I'm gonna try to do the faster Chaos Control here. Do a quick restart. This is a Chaos Control extension. I haven't really used these all that much, surprisingly. I've had plenty of opportunities to, I guess. But basically they, where you would normally be stopped, you can extend it a little bit further because you have to Chaos Control a little bit before it will drop you. Because you could have like a sliver left whenever you get to somewhere and they want you to really use it a bit. So, me. This is the black bolt we saw in the arc. I'm gonna use your missiles to shoot this bubble. There's a bubble. All right. Shoot you, shoot you. All right, I got one bolt left. I don't really need it. There are four black warriors over here. I can just homing attack them pretty fast though. And we're out. This is the last chaos control of the run. It's a very nice one. All, right, all we have to do now is we're just run down the hallway, get to the end. Run is pretty much done. There's not really, there's no real major mistakes that can happen from here on out, except for the jump I'm gonna do. In a moment. Right here, one of the doors we opened up caused that gate to appear. Ooh, yeah, so I want to make sure I do my jump timing just right to get around that door. And that's the end of the stage. Alright, final... Final boss. This fight can take as slow as four seconds. And it can be as long as like 16, depending on how we go about it and how the RNG works out. So, fingers crossed. You've done well, sir. Now I will show you just how pitiful you and fear life Uh, moving backwards, so technically I could have gone the faster, a little bit of a faster time, but that's fine that I did not. There's a fast attack, a fast end. This is not over. 999, wow. I don't think I've ever gotten a 999 before. Maria loved this planet. I will not let you destroy it. Cool, cool. All right. Perfect. Well, that is Dark Normal Hero Paths. I think it's a pretty good showcase of what the game has to offer. So, if you enjoyed, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I'll see you guys on the next video. Finally, I've got all the Chaos Emeralds. Just gonna quickly get to this time. Whoa. Figure out what went wrong once I turn this video off.